Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are designing a really unique gown for one of my clients. It's one of those corset gowns with a lot of gathered chul. So let's hop on the iPad and let's get started. Okay guys, so this is what we are drawing today. This is the finished product um, and it is a corset style gown with uh, some chul overlay, a fitted skirt and horsehair trim along the hem. So I'm going to take you through my steps of drawing this up and specking this for the factory. We're now on a blank template guys and I'm going to start by drawing the actual corset. So what we do here, we zoom right in. Um, I always like to draw a waist seam. Let's do a better job than that. There we go. I use the technical pencil guys, this one here. Um, and this enables me to get some, you know, smaller lines and then some thicker lines in the middle if that's what I want to do. And now I'm going to draw the corset and how I do that is I draw two cups like so. Looks kind of strange, I know. And then I draw the top of the cups. And this is more like one of those balconet bar, bras. Balconet <laughs> bras. Don't know if, even know that's how you say it, but and I draw these lines so that the factory know that's how I want the sewing um, of this bra cup. Now we also need to add some boning. So because she wants like a corset star, we're doing boning like this. We're also doing boning around the bra. Okay. And then we're doing a piece of boning down the middle. And this will give her that security, but it also gives her that um, corseted style, the corset effect. Now she's wanting this um, not to be like a satin or anything like that but to be um, semi sheer so we're gonna do um, a really lightweight chiffon underneath to sort of give it a little bit of coverage um, there'll obviously be bra cups and things like that in there um, and then she wants a sequent layer over the top so I will be specking that as well All right now we're going to move on to the skirt I usually like to add another layer for this just in case I need to separate the skirt and the corset and I like to just know where the bottom is before I start sketching so she wanted quite a, a fit and flare style which sort of looks like that. So that means it's fitted around the hips and the thigh, top thigh, and then just kind of drops down, um, fitted in the thigh area here, and then just flares out. Now let's draw the back. And I'm gonna draw the back corset on the same layer as the front corset, just so they're together. And what you're wanting to do here is you're trying to match the top and the bottom okay we also need some boning like that and that's it's pretty basic so now we're gonna move on to the skirt just this layer here and this is this layer is all about kind of showing how it's sort of going to sit in the back. Really difficult to draw long trains in these sketches because the paper is only so big um, and it does look strange if you like extend it out. So I like to just do the best job I can but it's more, it's more of a case of specifying the correct length than drawing it accurately when it comes to trains. That's looking good. Now for where the magic happens. We are going to draw um, a, a chul gathered layer over the top. So I'm gonna take another layer here. And what she wants is she wants an off the shoulder design. I'm gonna make my pencil very thin so that um, it looks quite sheer. This is what she wants. 
off the shoulder and then a lot of gathering and to a long sleeve and what I'm doing here is just drawing the gathering fabric along the sides like that now because she wants really close um, sleeves like really fitted sleeves I'm gonna have to add buttons here and this is so that um, she can open the sleeve up let's go back she can open the sleeve up and get into the dress so this is a functional element I'll just sort of draw them up okay <clears throat> so basically this top layer is sheer and um, I'm also going to add some gathering in the body here and the bodice which is super important so you're getting that effect throughout the whole dress I'm taking this through and because it's um, this sheer chul is actually a nude color so she's got ivory underneath and then she's got a nude overlay it's going to be just gorgeous really fairy tale quite sexy and then it's just kind of dropping here what I might do is also add some inserts with the nude chore just to give it a little bit more dimension here which I'll have to talk to her about now that I'm seeing it on the dress I'm kind of thinking that this this will just look like um, one layer of chore with um, ivory backing underneath if I didn't add those inserts so I think we kind of need them Like that and I'll do the same at the back now you've got to remember where you've started on the back here and I'm just gonna go zoom right in insert there a new jewel insert I should say and there and then we're also going to add the horsehair trim I'm going to do it on another layer just in case I make a bit of a boo boo okay guys that is pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video I am going to spec up this design now for the factory so I'm gonna drop in the fabrics and um, drop in all the details like the boning and things like that but this is basically the sketch component um, I think I will have a talk to the client about adding some more inserts um, I because there's a horsehair trim there it's probably not as necessary as I originally thought um, but you know there is um, that element if she wanted that well that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this design video please leave me a comment in the list below if you would like to see a certain type of video otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this I'll see you in the next one bye